Hello all and welcome back to High Ridge Farm with me, the Walrus. As we are now in our 15th day of the beautiful fall autumn season, I have a few tasks in which I wish to achieve. But I would like to start off with the, today's one being that this is the first video I've done in the new year of 2024, so happy new year to everyone. I hope you've all enjoyed yourselves and had a fantastic uh, Christmas and New Year experience. I did take a couple of weeks off of doing any of my recording, um, as I just decided a holiday was in order. And yes, it, it, it's been um, fun. <laughs> it's probably the best way of putting it. Now, one of the things that I would like to do today is now that my shed is fully upgraded, um, the one down to the bottom hand right hand side of the screen near the fish ponds, that is going to be my manufacturing hub. And in there, I'm going to want to put the crafting table along with the chests to store stuff. So it's going to make my life, excuse me, a lot easier when it comes to the building of the miscellanea that I haven't finished um, or done any of for, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The, the missing bits that I've got to do um, is probably the best way of putting it. Uh, yeah, the, the missing bits that I've got to complete for my um, uh, a perfection run of trying to finish all of the constructions. Now, of course, one of the things that I'm going to look at doing as well is I know I need to make um, a bunch of the rings. So that's going to be a thing. And I'm going to keep my chests a little bit more organized going forward as I do really need to be a bit more on the ball with my organizational skills. As, of course, I'm painfully aware that I have been a little bit slacking. Well, I say that as my absolute mess of a farm sprawls across the, the screen at the moment. It is not the most organized, and I will never deny that fact, because I know I'm a scatterbrained old sod. I can't help it. It's just, just how it goes. Um, but yes, that's going to be what I'm going to need to sort out uh, in, in that generally. Um, I need to organize a, a good way of laying stuff out and actually achieving a good... Um, sort of view around the farm and how I want it to be and I'm, I'm reasonably happy with it it's just there's bits that I could make a bit better and one of the things that I had noticed is that I've seen a couple of people who've been rather than where I put the greenhouse they actually put the stable next to the house there it does almost look like the the housing's um, roof naturally extends that point and yeah I can see why it, it does look like it should go there at the moment, however, I've decided that the um, the ever important and ever useful greenhouse should go there first. Now, I'm going to build a new sign for the new shed because this is going to be my tool and storage shed. Now, do I put the hoe or a tool on there or do I put a chest? I'm not sure. I will have to think on this one. Now, of course, one of the other things that I would like to do is build a bunch of the crystallariums. Because I think that if I can generate some diamonds as well, I can use that as a, another source of income. So, I need to fill two sheds. One of which needs to be filled with wine kegs. And that's another one uh, that I need to work out. Another one needs to be filled with the, the furnaces, the tools, the chests, and all of that gubbins. And one of the things I also do need to do is replace all the wine in the house with starfruit wine. Because my goodness am I miffed that all of the wine that I thought I was going to be able to sort out is not as valuable as I had imagined. Now I'm also aware that there are going to be a few other resources that I'm going to need. Some of which I will need to grow. So of course I'm going to have to visit um, Ginger Island at some point and plant down a bunch of garlic seeds and other miscellanea. Now, as I discovered as part of my general idiocy, there are parts that I cannot uh, grow seeds on. And I need, sadly, to really think a bit better on how can I um, organize that? How am I going to do this a bit better? Because, yeah, there's a few that I do kind of need to 
and make it better optional. So, yeah. Ah, oh, well. It's, it's how it goes. And, of course, and I'm going to replace all of these lovely um, resources here. And kind of just work my way through them. So, of course, we've got all these pumpkins that need to be turned into pickled pumpkins and all sorts of lovely things there. And we'll see how well this goes. Uh, this is the sort of the general gist plan, at least, is to um, just generally make uh, more preserves. So the 10 million is the goal before the end of the year. And I think it's feasible. We are going to have to see how the winter season, though, will pan out. Because that's going to be the tricksy bit, unfortunately. And uh, that, that does unnerve me somewhat. I think is reasonable to suggest that it's a little bit unnerving. Um, because, yeah, I do really need um, to sort that out. Because the winter is going to destroy all the crops. It's going to mean that I can't grow anything. Now, I'm going to sort of try and sort that out by sowing just vast swaths of grass, which would be great for year four. But at the same time... Money spinning is going to entirely rely on Ginger Island at this point. And that is going to be why I need to try and figure out how much can I sew on on um, Ginger Island. Because, of course, there is a large part of the land that isn't um, being used and is essentially not inaccessible, but it isn't being... Um, used in the best way possible, I think, is probably the best way of putting it. And that's the, the bits to the left, um, or the uh, west. You know, I had a brain fart there and I forgot my cardinal directions. It does happen actually quite frequently, because one of the weird things I have discovered about myself is, other than being an idiot, which I'm painfully aware of, um, is I can never remember the way uh, the, the cardinal directions go. Um, as a child, I was always taught never eat shredded wheat, so north, east, south, and west, um, or never eat stringy worms, but never eat shredded wheat always stuck in my head, what with it actually being a cereal I did indulge in and ate a lot of. So, um, yeah, that, that, that's kind of how that went. As you can tell, I had a very strange childhood. But the thing is, I, I grew up, my, my family were teachers, um, so different sort of mimetic ways of trying to remember things was kind of a big thing. My, my father would teach me a few useful tricks and sort of like trying to work out what would be the best and you know, silly little things like that. So, yeah, I do come up with some odd ones every now and again, um, I will never deny. So... One of the things as well with that is that there were so many different ones for the planets and all sorts of other weird and wonderful. But of course, now in here, in my growing greenhouse, I think what I'm going to do is keep the fairy roses growing, keep the yams growing. I've got like, those seeds. And I think I'll just plant a bunch of seeds that I don't need so much. Well, the seeds that are maybe out of season, um, just generally could be useful. Um, but of course you can see we're getting lots of wine, we're getting lots of other miscellanea, and that's useful stuff. Just as a kind of a rule here, we, we've got a, a lot of useful, helpful things that will help, hopefully, make my life a bit easier. Because of course I want to make sure that I actually end up with a decent amount of um, resources. I think that's perfectly reasonable, right? One, one should uh, hopefully ob obtain a, uh, a decent um, distribution. As you can tell, I'm having one of those brain farts again where I just keep thinking about random nonsense. But anyway, um, yes. I've got a lot of ideas for what I can do. Whether they're going to be viable is a different question. Okay. Now, one of the things that I'm going to need to do potentially come the... 
the winter is how profitable can I make runs into the Skull Caves and other places? I mean, one would assume that that could be vaguely profitable. I hope. I'm just not entirely sure. So I'm, I'm sort of umming and ahhing over that one at the moment. But as you can see, I'm sort of like just quickly moving these chests around. That's going to be the major focus here. Is it's going to be reorganizing what I've actually got, how it's going to be, um, and, and what I do. So we're going to see what I can actually uh, work out here. Okay, so uh, where's that table? I know it's in here. So there it is. I see it in the middle. So I'm going to put the workbench in, and I'm going to use that as a... Uh, do I want it here? M maybe? No, no, I want it closer to the door. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? Just have it closer to the door, because then I can come in and just do stuff. And maybe I should also make a few more chests. Just to err on the side of caution of being able to actually do things. Um, uh, that's going to be a thought process, isn't it? I've got to kind of think about what am I going to do? How am I going to do this? And what am I going to sort out? Hmm. That's the big problem is, is trying to reorganize what I've actually got. And, like, for example, this is going to be the miscellaneous chest. So the, the storage items, the manufacturing items, stuff that's not, like, super immediately... I, need, I don't need it near the crafting table, for example, because, well, there are other things that I can do with um, stuff in the crafting table. Um... So it, it wouldn't make much sense for me to put it, um, well, there. <laughs> Which, again, kind of makes sense to what my brain's sort of suggesting, but again, I could be just making up some random-ass nonsense again. Which, again, isn't exactly beyond the realms of possibility for me, what with me knowing that I am, indeed, an idiot. Okay, so I'm definitely going to have to have a tool chest of some description outside of the farm. Well, not really outside of the farm, but outside of um, the immediate area of where I'm slapping stuff in. Uh, I mean, that, that would kind of make sense, I, I feel. I think. Well, I hope it makes sense. I've got some ideas of what I'm trying to do. With it. Meh. You can tell I've got some nonsense going on in the brain, can't you? But yes, um, I want to still have like the vague colour coding that I had. So red was going to be the um, the resources of monsters and that ilk. Um, so I think that's reasonably reasonable as a whole um, to have. Um, so that's going to be like the adventuring chest. I also want to do then have a um, a chest that will become the oh what's the word I'm looking for the like not the resources per se. It's more the um, not resources the like the miscellanea from combat drops. So I've got the combat chest. So the things that the monsters will drop, and then the combat chest, which will be the spare weapons, the spare rings, and so on and so forth. Because then that way I've got uh, an idea of what's available to me. Um, that, that feels reasonable, I think. Because that way I can have a, a decent amount of idea of how I'm going to organize stuff and put things in. But I'm going to slap these chests. Now, of course, if I put that chest in the corner there, that's going to make things pretty tough to access, isn't it? I think I can reach it if I use my mouse. Yeah, okay, so I can e easily access it. So I'm wondering whether that should be... Maybe I'll remove that corner chest at a later date. I'm not sure. I'll see how frustrating it is. I think that's going to be... My best plan of action. See how annoyed I get with myself trying to access it. It shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, it's only going to have some like, what, slime and other miscellaneous guff in it. But nothing super concerning. Okay, so we've also got... Um, the, now, the crops. I don't really want to take that away, do I? 
because that's going to be... I mean, that's, at no point am I going to need, in the manufacturing side chest area, all of these, like, crops and seeds, because, well... I say at no point, you do need them for, like, the tea plants, but at the same time, I know I've made those, because I've got, a, what, half a dozen of the damn things. So, that's not as much of a concern for me on that one. Hmm. So, I'm going to have to um and ah a little bit on that one, I think. Um, as to trying to figure out what's going to work out more. Um, well, what's going to be the, the best plan of action for that, at least. Uh, so, yes. Let's just work that one out. So I'm gonna put the I'm gonna have like a an internal gubbins chest, like the the stuff that's needed to be made. Um, so like the flooring or things like that, uh, the fences and you know that sort of thing. Because those are gonna be important, but at the same time, are they really that vital for my self at this moment? Now oh, sprinkler, that's going to be an interesting one. Do I put it with the I mean, it could go with the organic bits. So I think in the green chest, there's going to be sap. There's going to be um, fiber. I think like, maybe I should put the, uh, the sprinklers in there. That's probably going to be a good shout, actually. But I might need a second chest outside of the greenhouse area as a um, for seeds because I'm going to have so many different seeds, aren't I? I mean, I've got all the fertilizers there, so maybe I should put them in. You know, I'm not entirely sure why I took everything out. That was really dumb. I just, if anything, I should only take out a couple of things. Oops. Oh, well. Now I'm a dumb-dumb. I mean, it does happen, doesn't it? But yes. But, of course, one of the sorts of things I've been sort of, like, debating um, as well is... Of course, I'm coming to the end of my idea. What I want to achieve. Now, I say I'm not... not fully to the end of what I'm trying to achieve. Like, I, I'm still going to keep playing this playthrough, but I maybe not do it as uh, religiously if I can achieve perfection. Of course, we've still got the 1.6 update coming soon-ish. Um, and that might be something I should probably start focusing on a little bit more, because that's going to be something that I think will be quite interesting. Uh, and I'm very keen to see what we can uh, do with that. Um... Which I think is quite reasonable. So I'm going to put all of the general resources in here. No, I don't want the sap in there. That'd be silly. Um, maybe elsewhere, methinks. But yes, I've, I've got some ideas. I've got plans. I've got a general gist of what I'm trying to do. But the, the thing I'm not really concerned about is what am I going to do next? Now, of course, I've seen Paleo Pines is one that I would like to do. I've got um, the Graveyard Keeper, which is a playthrough that I would, lo I would like to do. Um, and I'm seeing a few others that are sort of being touted as, like, good fun Stardew Valley-esque games. And that's kind of what I'm after, is I know I'm very much into the whole let's play comfy games that make you feel good about life, the universe, and everything. <laughs> Because I think that's a perfectly reasonable thing to want to do. Because um, they, they're nice, pleasant games. and I like Stardew, shockingly enough. And I do like the more comfy game um, kind of approach. Because I know that it's not something that there are that many people doing. Um, but what I'll probably do is I will do a poll. Um, probably closer towards the end of the winter. And I'll ask everyone's opinion on which game I should do next. Um, because if I start it at least, then there's no harm, because then it's it started, it's not immediately happening at that moment in time, but it's, um, it's going to be the next stage. Now, one of the other things I've got to consider is tomorrow is the, f not festival, sorry, the, like, well it really is the harvest festival in town. And I'm going to do my best to win. Now, I say do my best. I have won every year since I started the farm. And that's not going to be too difficult, I don't think. Um, 
because I've used the same resources every damn time and I've not had any problems at all. Um, I know I sound a bit ridiculous in that regard, but hey, if it if it works and it ain't broke, don't fix it. Which I think is a perfectly reasonable, uh, logical stance. And uh, that's, that's entirely and utterly what I am going to do. I'm going to just keep slugging away with exactly what works. Okay. Now, this wooden chest, I'm going to remove for now because I don't really need it. And we're going to change colour to this, I think, yellow. That would be nice. Now, let's remove, like, the drum box machines. So, I'm going to have the tool chest as well. Like, the, the, the older tools that I don't need, don't use. Because there are going to be quite a few of these going forward. There are going to be a lot of tools that I, I don't use. And that's perfectly normal and perfectly reasonable, I feel. Um, because, yeah, you, you're going to encounter that as you go through the game. You get your upgrades and you can't help but not use some. That's how it goes, isn't it? Okay, so we're going to put the stone can there. That'll be nice. I mean, I've got the random rare code for no reason there. Just, again, do things. Um, but let's see what else we can sort of wrangle on this one. Okay. Uh, now... I know it's only 8.40, 8 we've still got some time. And, and that's the thing, is I know I'm going to be faffing about a lot as I try to figure out what's going to work, uh, what's going to be the best plan of action for myself. And yeah, there's, there's going to be that as a sort of a thing, isn't there? I've got to try and work out what am I going to do and how am I going to do it. But anyway. Right, so, um, I'm going to have to think about this a little bit more, aren't I? Because I've still got the flooring, and that's something I'd like to organise a little bit better, is actually the flooring in the sheds. Because, do I want to have pathways out of, like, the actual, the paving side of things? To sort of, like, showcase the, this is where one goes. Or do I want to just use the flooring that is available in the general home um, side of stuff? So, kind of have to debate on that one a little bit. But, yeah. Now, of course, I totally didn't realise that. I actually forgot to let the animals out in the, the big coop. Or the, the larger coop. Um, so I did feel a little bit silly on that one. Uh, very much for... Oops. Okay, so let's just quickly water this bit. Now, of course, I was using this bit as a seasonal forageable crop um, area. I mean, there's not much else I can really say about it, to be honest. It was a... It's a thing. I don't think it's going to be a particularly necessary area that I work on for the time being. Um, so, it's a part of the fun. I still haven't used any of the damn cinema tickets, so maybe that's something I should do in the next couple of days. It actually takes someone to the cinema. No, I, I don't think I've ever actually used the cinema as a thing. So... I'm going to have to actually think about how that works. As potentially dumb as that actually sounds. Um, like, well, what can what what does one achieve with it other than friendship? And what, what do you do? What happens there? But yeah, in Crystallarium. Okay, so let's see. What else can I build? Furnaces. I'm going to build a bunch of furnaces. Um, because I want to have a couple of banks of them to... Um, get that sorted. I think that's quite reasonable. Um, so we're going to slap all these down and we'll start throwing things in because that's a good idea. Um, what else can we sort of organise? I think that's the next question, isn't it? What else can we work on? Um, yeah. Well, again, I'm just going to have a look and see what other things I can make. So that's going to be my organic things. I'm going to have the, the, uh, the saps and other miscellaneous in that one. This one needs to be the charcoal grey or black, which is the... Um, okay, so I'm going to try the fire quartz. Now, I remember somebody mentioning about fire quartz giving you three um, quartz per use. Now, I'm going to be curious to see... Um, Okay, it's not that I disbelieve anyone, it's the I want to test everything myself. And I do know that, that is kind of a toxic trait in myself. 
sound very bizarre, but it's the I'm aware that I don't inherently trust people as much as I probably would like to. And not really through anyone's fault or no one's like issue or fault of their own. It's I just get a little bit apprehensive about information I cannot confirm that I have tried myself sometimes, particularly if it's on the internet. <laughs> because there are a lot of times um, when the internet does dumb stuff and makes you question the sanity of everyone around you. Some of those have been the uh, things that I have seen from 4chan, where people have been convinced to, to essentially make mustard gas. And it's the good grief. I understand that people can be very convincing, but I'm going to be careful. Now, of course, I'm going to make these rings that I haven't made, well, that I don't believe I have made before. Thankfully, because, of course, I've got to have that tool chest and weapons chest, I know I can, well, have that as a thing, which is fine. Uh, monster mask. I haven't made that. All the quality bobber? Yeah, I haven't just made that for the first time. Magic bait. I want to make a couple of lamp posts, though. That's that's a thing. Um, because lamp posts will just illuminate this room, and I want to put a couple down just to make things look a bit nicer. And that's, I, I think, again, quite a reasonable thing to want to do. Uh, trying to make it look prettier and all of that, I guess. Okay. So we've got those rings there. That's lovely and all. Okay, what next? So we've got all this iridium. Well, that's convenient because that means I can just move it and just, well, get rid of it, really, from where it currently is. I don't need it to be... Um, I can put them inside the chest. I mean, I know it's... Yes, it's 12.30. We're, we're pushing a little bit on the edge of, ooh, it's, it's going to get late, but I'm not too worried about that. Not in the grand scheme of things, it could definitely be worse. Um, so yeah, we're gonna sort ourselves out with that. Uh, what else can we organize? One of the other things that I do want to do is, again, I wanna get more galaxy souls because I need them to turn my galaxy hammer into the infinity hammer or, or whatever it is that um, one turns it into. Because I've got the, the needle, the, the dagger done. But yeah, it does give you three a time. That's fantastic. So thank you very much uh, for commenting that one earlier. Um, again, apologies for the fact that I didn't believe you. In some, well, could, could be considered that I didn't believe you. It's the believe that you were correct, but I like to be sure. Um, but it is nice to feel a bit more confident in knowing that I can get more refined quartz because I know I'm going to need a lot of it anyway moving forwards. So that's just kind of how this entire bloody thing goes. <laughs> Okay, now, we made quite a lot from all the wine and preserves that we were throwing in there and general other miscellanea. So, that uh, went well. It was a good day. So, as I was sort of mentioning, one of the things that I would like to do um, over the next couple of days is to go to the cinema. Now, one of the things that I am aware of when it comes to the cinema is that you have the option of buying someone a snack. And I'm not sure what gifts are going to be... Well, I'd say gifts. It's sort of a gift, isn't it? That you're, you're giving somebody a, a, a snack of some description, aren't you? When you're um, doing things in the cinema. So I, it's going to be a bit of a I'm not sure sort of thing. I am aware that the cinema does give you kind of an option of like a couple of liked, a disliked, and uh, a loved um, get, uh, snack, which is good because, um, yeah, I don't really want to end up going, no idea what's going on anymore. Let's just hope for the best, essentially. But anyway, so today is the lovely, glorious day of the F Harvest Festival. I'm sure it's not actually called the Harvest Festival, but that's what I'm going to call it now. Uh, when I can do the Grange. 
Now, the Grange itself is one of those ones that I've never really understood how one wins it, other than the fact that I've just sort of bumbled through and stumbled and managed it. I've got a couple of lucky catches, I think is the, probably the best way of putting it, um, in regards to how I've managed to, um, well, catch fish. Because that's that's how that sort of worked, and that seems to work out quite well, um, honestly. And I kind of have to just go with that. Um, I know that like putting a diamond and iridium bar in, you know, things that are that are valuable. I'm assuming that's how it's calculated. I could be very very wrong though, because again, it wouldn't be the first time that I am. Now, let's see what happens if I just slap that in there. Um, I do wonder. Okay, so that's a bit of a faff. I probably should have been more sensible and dropped off all of the uh, the fruits and gubbins that I was carrying before I um, foolishly decided to just get stuck in with it. Um, that, that was kind of a dumbass decision on that one. But... Oh well, we, we all, we live and learn, we make silly mistakes, it's, it's how this game goes. Oh well, right. Okay, so what have we got that we can do here? Stardew Valley has, the fair has begun. Okay, so that means we need to get a wiggle on, because we have stuff to do. Because um, once the fair is going, um, obviously there's a time limit on that one. And the thing is, I actually saw somebody mention on one of the... Um, on the Stargy Valley, um, face, uh, not Facebook, couldn't <laughs> Facebook group, goodness gracious, um, on Reddit page, that sometimes they just ignore, after a couple of years, they just ignore the in-game events, because unless they're actually going to give them a benefit, what's the point? And I'm kind of inclined to agree with that sentiment, because sometimes, honestly, I'm like, well, what's the point? Is it going to really help me out? I mean, here, actually, I could probably get some of that hay. That probably wouldn't be a bad thing for me to sort of work on, would it? Um, but, yeah, that's kind of my my logic on that one, going, hmm, is that worth me bothering with? But, yeah, I'm going to put the things into the Grange that I know will give me a good score. So I'm just going to put them in as silly angles and do stuff. Now, I have upgraded bits in here, because previously it was just a basic sea cucumber, and I lucked out by using the curiosity lure to catch an iridium quality um, super cucumber. And that, absolutely fantastically helpful. So, it, it's, and this is the game, the, the foraging thing, I had previously a gold quality, great, but now I have a, an iridium one. Which is kind of helpful. Now, I'd like to buy some star tokens. Let's give this a go. Uh, now, do you get star tokens for bashing the weight? I can't. I don't think one does. I, I always forget. But one of the things I am considering is, I know I've mentioned it previously. I play using an Xbox controller plugged into my computer. I want to see how much easier using a slingshot is with a mouse and keyboard, because I only use the Controller because oh my goodness, this is so much easier. Oh, I hate my life. <laughs> oh my goodness, and yeah, I know I'm not hitting everything, but goodness, it's so much more controllable. Oh my, I have just shot myself in the foot repeatedly. Ugh, my own stubborn ignorance has been my curse. Don't I feel a bit special? <laughs> That's annoying. Well, I guess I'll just have to live with that fact, knowing that I've been a bit stupid. I mean, I'm not too upset about it. But, you know, I'm smashing up these things and flinging rocks wildly everywhere and actually missing there. But, uh, things and stuff happen. Okay, so we got a score of 69. Uh, accuracy 84. So, let's see what we get. Don't actually know how the multiplier works. 1.5 accuracy multiplier. 84 star tokens. Cool. Well, we got some. Let's gamble them away. Let's, let's do something dumb. 
90, yeah, yeah, you can have 90 of them and we'll, we'll, maybe that'll work. I mean, it'd be nice. It'd be really good if we do get it. Uh, I have a sneaking suspicion. It's not going to work out in my favour, is it? Uh, it is fiddlesticks and bunkum. Now, I think this is the first time I've seen Leo here, so that's kind of cute to actually see that he's here. And I can see that my child is there. I can see the small ponytail of the... It's not really a ponytail. It's the plume on the top of the helmet, but I can see it. That's... It's there. <laughs> I know they're there, and that's a thing. Um, so we'll kind of see on that one. Let's see if we win on this. Oh, no. Well... Don't I feel like a nitwit? I lost all my star tokens. Screw it. I did bring all the good stuff, Haley, because we're going to win. That's how this works, my dear. Can't let, like, Pierre win, because he's a git. <laughs> he is, indeed, the biggest git that ever did git. And uh, he should buzz off and stop being such a swine. Because I know I'm being a bit cruel on Pierre, but I'm sure there are many people who would agree with me. He is a cheeky, conniving scum sucker at the best of times and uh, deserves the comeuppance. I also didn't realise I'd actually blocked the mayor quite effectively by standing there. Oh well. Yes, so judge that and uh, judge Willie's. The other thing is, I look at Pierre and go, you just, you're showcasing the stuff that I gave you or sold you, you swine. Grumble, grumble, grumble. But again, we just will have to live with him being a git. Which I think is perfectly reasonable, perfectly legitimate. He's a git and I won because ha de ha ha. Suck it. And uh, that's the best bit. I won, and I don't care. Ha ha. Because I am better than you. Right. So let's see what else can we organise whilst we're moping around here. Well, we'll just put that there. And put the wine. Now, I'm going to sell that ancient fruit wine, I think. Because I want to get rid of all the ancient fruit wine. I feel really stupid not realising that ancient fruit isn't as valuable as I thought it was. Because I know that's something that I've been kicking myself over, not actually realising that it's not as helpful as you might have hoped. Ah, oh, let's grab it by the rug. Screw it. We've got everything else, I think. Um, yeah. So we'll grab that and uh, go from there. Okay, well, we've got... It's 10 o'clock, so we haven't got that much time to play with, actually, by the looks of things. Right, how am I going to wrangle this? What are we going to do today? Um, well, I think what we are going to do is just sort out the flooring in our new shed. Well, new-ish. The latest, at least. And see what we can sort out for the internal decoration. Because that'd be nice and have a little bit of decor, and maybe I'll do the same for the other one. So it just looks better. Something like that. That'd be nice, I guess. Again, there's some vague method to the madness. It's just mostly just insanity that goes on in my brain. It's just how it works, I'm afraid. Um, yeah. So let's see what we can do. Uh, what wallpaper looks nice? I think that's the question. I want it to have a vaguely, not industrial, but sort of like, clearly a this is a, a tool environment. This is not a homey room. This is a... Um, something that we're doing here sort of like stuff is being done and, and gubbins and things because again that's what I kind of hope would be sensible I'm not entirely sure that it is but I'm going to give it a go aren't I okay so that looks nice that looks a lot more less barren because that's kind of what it looks like when you actually look at the um the layout. It's kind of barren, really. It's a bit destitute, abandoned. Not as exciting as it could be. So we'll uh, we'll sort that out. That's good and all. Um, 
And once we sort that out, then we're kind of golden, aren't we? So let's see what else can we sort out here. Well, I'm going to pop those here. I'm going to quickly inspect what goes in there. Yeah, that's fine. So it's not it's not super difficult to get in on and and work with, but it, it's it's manageable. Definitely manageable. Right. So what else do we need in here? That Sort of goes in there. So obviously I've got access to it easily from the from the workbench, which is kind of my biggest not bugbear, but that's kind of what I'm really focusing on is can I easily access it now? Grab that, grab that. Um, because the diamond and the iridium bar are actually part of uh, the Grange display. I knew I was missing something. I'd accidentally put it away. I did feel a little silly um, that I'd done that. But at least I've you know sorted that out. Um, so yeah, that's what I needed to do. Yes, so we'll we'll, we'll sort that out. Um, I'll bung that in there. Hundred pieces of hay in there. That's good. That's lovely. Um, we're coming up to midnight again, so it's getting late. So it's it's nice and all, but um, hmm. What next? I think is the question, isn't it? Uh, okay, so I've got the. So I'm not getting much else. I know it sounds very daft when I'm sort of saying that, but there's not much else that I'm getting um, from uh, these Junima at the moment because, of course, they're just waiting for the pumpkins, which perfectly reasonable, perfectly normal. Um, just a bit. Of a shame that that's kind of what I'm waiting for. Now, oh, well, but I did grab the mushrooms from in here, which is actually kind of handy because the mushrooms will potentially give me um, something towards whatever the heck I'm doing. Um, you know, the like the there's that um, the healing, the life tonic or something. I think it needs mushrooms. I think it might need the purple one though. Uh, there it is, life elixir. Yes, it does need a purple mushroom. Not the end of the world, um, but you know, it, it's a thing that I'm aware of. That's kind of what I'm focusing on, at least. Right, so we've got all of that uh, quartz, which is melted up. I'm going to smelt some more iridium because they're going to be useful for making crystallariums because that's kind of what I want to do next. Just stock of crystallariums making diamonds and other shinies. I mean, maybe I should have one that's making red quartz, fire quartz even, just just for the sake of it. But we're getting up very late now, so I'm going to pretty much get, bid everyone a very fond farewell. So please thank you very much for enjoying and, and watching today. If you have enjoyed, please do like, share and subscribe, because they all do very much help. They help with the metrics and all that jazz. And uh, hopefully I will catch you all again the next time the Walrus Plays Stardew Valley. <laughs>